So the next part, the next uh, takedown, is on this other side of the opening move. In this case, we're going to use that as a defense against someone who's trying to reach in uh, to, your, to grab your lapel to hit. Normally, so if someone come in, grab, and start wailing, okay? You don't, obviously you don't want that. So this part of the kata can be teaching us how to avoid that, right? So as someone is reaching in to try to grab that lapel, you're going to use that motion, okay? Just come in. I'm using the wind up for that low block as an elbow strike. Now, you can hit them a few times and hopefully that will knock them out or incapacitate them. You can do other things. But the kata is showing us, well, you can also use that low block, that pivot to the 90 degrees, as a takedown. So the person is uh, reaching in to try to grab you. You strike, hit them again if you want. Then they're just going to use that low block motion. I'm straightening my arm out, and I'm taking him down. And he can fall on that knee. Right? That might do a little extra damage here. I can kick him in the ribs, punch, and away. Okay? So let's try that again. So maybe here, so there's a little better angle. All right? So a little bit more. This is over here. So let me give you some math. All right. So he's reaching in. Hit him. Stretch him out. Tap his nose. Strike, kick. And one key thing to remember, notice we're always striking before the throw. And that's also kind of different from the sport um, uh, judo and so on. The idea is really, it's actually kind of hard to throw someone who doesn't want to be thrown or who's ready for it. Um, so that's why we have these strikes before the takedown. So for that one, we're just working here. Boom, I'm blasting him in the head. That's going to soften him up, hopefully drop him. But the idea is I'm striking him first so that it'll make the takedown attempt more effective. Okay?